And I didn't bring the microphone. So we'll have to talk nice and loud. Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm Barbara, your host for this episode of Morning Coffee and Crochet Monday Style and Mountain Style with Lori. And we are so glad that you are joining us. Um, I might adjust the camera uh, just to um, see if I can give you a little more view other than just the grass in the background. And I'm so sorry for all the noise. Um, we've got a little delivery at the Old Mill restaurant over here and um, they're just clunking away <laughs> doing all the delivery. How are you this morning, Lori? I just ran over here from the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Lori's, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Lori's a little bit out of breath. I'm going to actually, um, let's see. We could get closer, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we might be able to. But I think what I'm going to do is see if I can move this up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Hello, so that we can everybody. get. So my shawl. Get... Got it on today. It was warm when we were up at the cabin. <laughs> oh, yeah. scoot in. I'm scooting in a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Not I'll catch up in a minute. I gotta catch my breath. Yeah. <laughs> hey, honey. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're so, in Pigeon Ford, right? Is that where we're at? Ford Ja. Ford Ja. We're in Pigeon Ford Ja. <laughs> yeah, because you say Ford. <laughs> I do say Forge. <laughs> but it sounds like I say Ford. <laughs> she says. But I say Forge. <laughs> No, Some, oh, somebody did. Something. I don't even have my phone out to read it. Uh-oh. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're oh, so glad to that. be here with you. I'm so far. I'm, and, I'm mountain relaxed. <laughs> whew, yeah, you know, at the cabin, we do have a tiny bit of signal, but not strong enough to do any YouTubing. So <clears throat> we have to grab all our stuff and trek down. And um, But we do oh, have some, <laughs> some videos from different places that we're going to, um, you know, around the cabin and around town and everything that we're gonna uh, upload. So you will get to see, you know, quite a few of our little treks and things. So hopefully that will be of interest to you. And um, hey, I wanna show you my finished shawl. Let me show it to you. So this is the Cape Lit and <clears throat> Lori has hers as well. We made ours a going sideways there. Oh, oh, did I bump you? Yeah. Sorry, I ran up on her. And um, so we made ours a little bit different. Um, we made ours with the same technique, but I made mine with a little bit of a flounce at the bottom, just to kind of come out a little bit. And Lori made hers gorgeously straight down, and it's very elegant looking. You know why she did it different? Because she can, because it's hers. <laughs> <laughs> Lori is a nice tall girl, and I'm and I'm a nice short girl. And my mom is short. Her mom is shorter than you, taller than me, a little bit taller than me. Um, so I don't know whether she's tall or short. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> but um, so my mom saw it last night, and she fell in love with it. And she said, "Did you make this for me?" And I said, "Do you want it?" And she said, "Yes." So obviously, I made it for her. And um, so if she didn't want it, then I didn't make it for her. <laughs> That's how that goes in my family. I don't know about yours. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to show you mine and Lori's going to show you hers and we're going to compare the differences and, and explain a little bit of how we got to that conclusion. And by golly, here comes another food truck. <laughs> that, um, that old mill must go through a lot of food. <laughs> And they do, so. There's a lot anyway. of food around here, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, so anyway, I am so sorry for all the noise, but obviously we can't control that. But um, I do apologize. I don't know if I can, can you hold this for a sec? Because I don't want to get this dirty. Okay, thank you. And I'll set this up. <laughs> I'll set this up here. And so this got finished and um, last night I um, wove in the ends. Do you see the little bit of flounce right there? Too close. There you go. No, I want them to see the detail. So anyway, um, this is just so pretty. See that? See that little flounce detail right there? 
So, oh, I can't see that. <laughs> but thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> I appreciate it. And um, so anyway, what I did was I followed the instructions for the V's. And then when I got to, um, you know, what I thought was a nice, nice, a nice, a nice length, because I was saying nice and length at the same time. <laughs> then what I did was, on this part, I just doubled it. Do you see how I doubled it? So I did one row of double. Can you believe that? He's got the blower off there. <laughs> so... Ah, oh, I know, Gloria. It does look like a skirt, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And I like the ruffle too, Robin. And um, so my mom fell in love with it. So then once I did the extra row, uh, when I did the row with the double, then I just went ahead and followed the rule for, you know, putting the V in the V and the V in the V and the V in the V and doing that. And that just created a natural ruffle. A natural little flounce here so my mom loves it she put it on it fit her perfectly it fits me perfectly it's just it's very versatile it adjusts to most any body type so it does. yeah so now Lori can show us hers okay Here's it. after I show you what I have on yes. because once I take it off I'm not putting it back on yes so this was hanging on the chair the other day, if you watch that, on the porch. This is that shawl that I made with the, um, the fringe. And the, I put buttons on the shawl, just crocheted buttons. And on I, both sides? On both sides, so I could just button it up if I wanted to, or I could button it on either side and cross over, or I could button it on the shoulder and have it hanging down on the side, and it's a V all the way down. And I kind of like it. Yeah, it's kind of kind of cool. I'll hold the button because I'm not going to button it. Bam! Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah. This is mine. I just kept going because, you know, I hate straight balls. Yeah. <laughs> Lay it around. Yeah. So this is mine. They're really nice and long. See how long it is? Yeah. Mine's all the bee stitch. It's all the rave. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm long. If you stand right here behind me, I'll be able to see you. Back it up. Long leg. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Carla. So, good morning, good Robin. Mine. Good morning, Kelly. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. It's mine, you know. I can uh, have it cover my arms. I don't know where I'm at here in the picture. You're right, right yeah. here. So, so you can see your whole you know, side. I can have it down here and have jeans, you know, and I can look cool, kind of like this, yeah. you know, and have it going there, and I don't have to have any sleeves, and I can do this, but at the same time, you know, if I want to wear it as a shawl, I'm trying to look, I can't see that far, you It looks good. And then I can wear it as a caplet, you know, as a shawl, and it looks good in the back or the front, but if I'm chilly or I just want to look cool, <laughs> And look stylish. All right, Kelly, we will. You know, I could just do this. Now, another way, if you wanted to do something like this, and you like this this V stitch, what you could do is do not make it in the round. Just make a long rectangle, and then sew up the side and leave armholes. You know, where you can put your arms through it, and just sew up the sides together so you can put your arms out, whatever. But I kind of like this coziness feeling. I feel like it's snuggle on the bug. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think that's all the clothing I brought to the show. Okay. Right? Yeah. But, this is it really close up. See, it's just the bee stitch. Carla loves the length on it. Yeah, I do too. I kind of, yeah. like, I just, just kept going to where it just went over my hand, so I felt like I was inside something, you know, like I was all blanket up, but it's not too hot because I'm always oh, hot. right. You know? It's definitely not too hot. It's really just right. It right. takes the chill off, but it doesn't overheat you. It, it's really funny because with the V, you would think that it wouldn't be warm at all, and yet it is, but it's not overheated. And a lot of yeah. times I just wear tank tops and, you know, that, you know, I mean shorts, but tank tops, <laughs> or a sundress or whatever, 
and and you go somewhere and you gotta cover the girls up you know so this just dresses it up you know so you're covered you know and you could go somewhere and it's not hot so if you're at the beach or whatever you can put this on and go out and it just dresses it up you're not too hot yeah and this what this was this uh like a bamboo this grows and acrylic i can't remember no but this was uh i don't care what it yeah. was but it's really light <laughs> Never mind, Barbara. I don't care. And it's really, it's not a sweaty. It's not a sweaty, like, oh my God, take this off of me. It's not that, you know, yet. <laughs> but it's not the sun and I'm not summer. But this could go over a bathing suit and dress it up. And it's long and you could walk the beach and you could look good in it. I hope. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> not here yeah. in the mountains, though. Okay, there's that one. There you go. You're next. <laughs> here, here, here. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Um, yeah, Corey okay. says she can't work the, the rectangle yet, so um, she likes to do in the round. So um, we've just been working at, on, like we both finished this. Um, Lori is still working on the shawl that she made and, and I'm kind of um, playing around with different things and We played around the other night with making um, neck, uh, earrings, and um, so we were playing with some um, motifs and different things, and we came up with um, some cute little little earring ideas. And this is the same. Now the tails are still on, but this was fun, and. Um, so let me get up close. Oh, here on my chair again. Oh, I am? Yeah. I'm just right up on your stuff. It's okay. Oh, you don't have to go back. I'm not used to these wing chairs. <laughs> yeah. Whoop, whoop. So, this one, oh, goodness, I lost one in the grass, but that's okay. So, this one, you know, it's still got the, oh, where am I going? Here we go. This right here is so pretty, and I made it with the Vanna White. It's, it's like, almost like a two weight yarn and it has um, like a gold a gold with it yeah and um, and then this one was with the same material that we made our um, shawl with our capelet so anyway we were just playing around with that kind of idea and then also like a little necklace, you know. So that was fun, just playing with the little things like that. I gotta get this. I thought getting some stiffy and stiffen up the, that little earring, that little material and make it hard. So it can just like sway instead of being soft, make that material hard with like a stiffener and then put it on a, on a um, earring thing. I can't even think what they're called, a wire. <laughs> Yeah. And then hook it in your earring might work. Yeah. So we've just been relaxing and um, crocheting, not crocheting. You know, we visited with family yesterday. We have a really neat video coming out. Look at all these spaces. And he's got a park right next to me. But that's okay. That's all right, Chuck. You go right ahead. He parked just like you did yesterday on the curb. Hey, <laughs> stop telling stories if you want to keep having Nobody rides. can bark in bark. <laughs> Nobody can bark in that market pit. <laughs> you can't talk in this town either. <laughs> here comes the pigeons. Oh, pigeons are here. Pigeon they want to get. I think is where we're at. Must be why they call it pigeons. They Any hoot and howl. Go ahead. <laughs> why are you sitting behind me? Because I keep riding all up on your stuff. You can sit I'm next to me. Look, you've got all that room. You can sit right next to me. I'm taller. We're not supposed to look the same height. <laughs> <laughs> she is taller. She just doesn't like it. Because I rely. Ugh. Did I get you again? Well, just because she... you can sit next to me, but not on top of me. <laughs> Are we like, like picking like sisters? Doing loads of work. <laughs> wow, girls. Well done, Gloria says. Thank you, Gloria. Yes, but wait, there's more. No, go ahead and tell them what you're going to say. I don't even remember. Oh, anymore. tell them about what I did. I you did tell them what you did. I went in the ball. Well, I wasn't going to share that. That was our surprise. Oh, we got a surprise. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what the ball was. <laughs> so anyway, we've got a video coming up, and it was a lot of fun yesterday. We spent the day with family, 
and um, so we've got a video that's going to come out <clears throat> as soon as we can get it um, edited and put up on the on the YouTube channel. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And little Miss Daredevil and her mama Daredevil um, had some fun yesterday. <laughs> see, I can't I can't see you because you're behind me. My neck doesn't turn that far. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to ride up all up in you. There you go. There we go. Um, now I can see you. Kelly says you two cracked me up. <laughs> Looks like you've been doing loads of fun. Yes. I taught yeah. Barbara something. What did I teach you? Okay, I'm getting ahead of her. Okay, go ahead. And we spent time with family. <laughs> Rewind. Uh, well, if, instead of asking me questions, just tell what you want to tell. Everything. <laughs> I am an open book. I don't answer questions in the morning. Can you tell? Okay. So will you be near family when you move to Tennessee? Yes. The answer is yes. And um, my cousin Chris owns a business here, and our cousin Chris owns a business here, and um, we might as well tell him it's a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I had a blast. <laughs> it's called Outdoor Gravity Park, and it is a Zorb ball that goes down the side of a mountain. And you climb in the in the ball and they pour warm water in there and you roll down the mountain inside the ball inside the hamster ball right <laughs> I the oh my mother yeah. and me she's almost 80 <laughs> she'll be 80 this year <laughs> she held on to me for dear life it was I, fun i laughed the whole time we got a video it was a, a whole lot of fun to watch and it was even more fun to to do um, so if you're in the Pigeon Forge area you definitely want to check out uh, Chris and Outdoor Gravity Park um, gotta be sure you tell them Cousin Lori sent you I and have Barbara. to say that yes and Cousin Barbara, and ba cousin Barbara. Come on, yeah. it's yeah. my channel, Barbara, it's her, her channel but go <laughs> Cousin Lori sent me wink wink <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so um, we, we did, we had a lot of fun visiting with family. It was, um, it was super nice. And then we got to have, the ball was fun. You and, what it is and the ball we got fun. to have dinner with them last night. And it was just really nice just to, you know, get to sit and visit with family and, and visit with their children that we, you know, don't get to see very often. And so Beautiful this was <laughs> this was Lori's first time meeting um, the children and the wife and um, just really, really sweet family. We just love them so much. And even if they weren't family, we would still love them so much. So. <laughs> yes, it's They're great for the whole sweet. family, no matter what age. I mean, yeah. you know. I, know I my, think the age is three, um, no. no, yeah, it's three and up, it is. Well, um, um, for their insurance purposes, oh. it's three and up. I think so, it was two. Stop. Maybe it, three. Their insurance was oh. three and well, up. Maybe he was three. three. He's, and, oh, um, he's, he's five, yeah, so maybe he was three. <laughs> um, so three and up um, can go down the ball and, um, you know, because you are rolling down a ball down the side of a mountain and um, it's just, yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch. Everybody that gets off is either crying <laughs> because there are three and they didn't know what the heck they were getting into. <laughs> Actually, my three-year-old granddaughter did it last year and with her mama and she loved it so much and um, she wanted to go down again but she didn't like the water getting in her eyes so her mama went and got her her goggles and she was fine. She went down a second time. She's like, let's do this. Yeah. So. My mama had goggles too. Was Huxley? Was Huxley? <laughs> the first time he was scared, it. but then yeah. after that he was like, "Let's he was do like, it again." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know. Um, so it's just super fun. I wish these trucks would go away so that the noise wouldn't be so great for you guys. I mean, our cousin said he said 90 year olds go down it. I forgot how old the oldest was that he said last that's night. That's fun. But it was fun. You you come here, you got to go. You got, or just come here to go there. Yeah, it's it fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Anyhow. Next. Tone crochet therapy sent you. <laughs> You'll get an extra, um, I don't know what. <laughs> oh, and it was really sweet visiting with his wife because his wife crochets. Hi, Christina, if you're watching. Hello. And um, 
so she hasn't picked up the crochet hook for a little bit. She she has a two year old, and you know you can just imagine she's so a busy. So, <laughs> which is a big help to her. <laughs> yes, yes. So you know they have a busy life, and um, it's just so much fun. So later on today, Lori and I and our moms are going to have a picnic in this park, and we're going to feed some pigeons, ducks, geese, and whatever else comes around. I guess whatever else comes around. It was, it, you'll love it, because I got an outside video, and if we can make it work, we've got an inside video too, so. Just, inside video was fun. <laughs> just one minute while, um, I'm, I'm holding the camera as I'm coming down the side of the mountain, hanging on to my mom so she doesn't slip and slide all over the place. Okay, one minute while the truck goes by. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. I don't know how to do that sound. And don't do a sound that will get me digged for monetization. Oh. Beep, bop, beep, bop. <laughs> and one, two trucks leave, one comes. You're not going to hear the end of it. Anyway, so, we've been I tried to say the end with the gay word. <laughs> one more truck is trying to park, so. They do have a lot of, um, there's a lot going on around here. We're going to get ice cream today, and I'm so excited. There we are. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. She wanted to stop and get donuts. I'm like, it says hot and ready. I'm like, I'm not. It was the first time the donut shop said hot and ready. So, you know, I thought, well, now's the time. Lori woke up with a headache this morning, so she wasn't feeling it. So, I, and I wake up quiet and low key, and she wakes up like a Tasmanian devil. So, <laughs> so I said, "Well, I'll just sit and eat donuts, and you talk." <laughs> okay, because there's more. So, we're gonna talk about what else we've been making. Sure. She's like, "Sure, go ahead. If you're not gonna shut up until you do, go ahead." <laughs> so you're gonna tell them what I taught you? Yeah. Um, we uh, played around with a stick and a ball of yarn and a ball of <laughs> yarn and a hook and um, it's broomstick lace and it was a lot of fun um, it was something that I had never done before I saw the completed broomstick lace and it was really really pretty um, I couldn't even imagine how to do it look there's a robin Robin, there's a Robin here. Oh. And um, so I had never done broomstick lace before. And so it was really interesting. And I, I like the technique. Um, I would never have imagined that that's how you do it. And um, it's really kind of neat. Of course, um, I did just a small little swatch. And um, Lori's a great teacher, so I can you know, pick it up and, and do it anytime I want. I think part of it was I had, um, I think I would really like it if it was either a stripe or um, even a variegated, I think would look really pretty because then you have um, all of the, um, there you go. See, and yours came out different. I used a little bit of a different yarn and Lori used a worsted weight yarn. So hers came out a little bit. This is my Dollar Tree yarn. yarn. See this? This is broomstick. Broom. Is that the back side? This is the front side. Broomstick lace. Can you see it? Yeah. Oops, am I holding it right? And it's really pretty. Um, the way. Show us how you do it. Okay. Now you're a, we're a little low, so I might need to lower the camera so you just a get a bit. big old knitting needle and whatever crochet hook you want yeah. I could probably stand up yeah. let me see if I can hold the camera in front of you okay. I'm gonna put this right here okay. and 
Okay, guys, hold on. I'm going to put the camera right in front of Lori, okay? All right. So you're just going to put these loops on this needle. Oops, let me get it over here. I work in five, so I put 25 single crochets on my hook. I mean, single crochets, chain, blah, 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 single crochets. And then I go through the single crochets and put um, these loops on this knitting needles but it was a broomstick you use when I did pioneer days I would use a broomstick my husband took a, uh, a, a broomstick and he sharpened the end for me and I just did it but you could use these knitting needles and you just go, go in fives well or however many you're doing okay move this hands just for a second so they can see this there we go see the loops there, perfect. Got the morning shakes. Then I go to the next row of five. Oops. Now, um, however thick or thin your broomstick is, will you know be however wide or long your broomstick laces. And there's several different stitches you can do with broomstick lace. This is the one that I always taught um, in pioneer days to the kids and people. Make sure I have five. One, two, it's coming through really good one, two, three. on the camera. That's, that's five really good. Five six. I did six Of course I did it wrong on the camera. Oh, I right? think there's five. One, two, three, four, five. I did it wrong. Oh, okay. And you can just pull them right off. One, two, three, four, five. I did six. This is making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Not them either. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to pull off. This is crochet. So. I do this it again? is pretty amazing. One, I two, three, had four, never five, known this five, technique. Five. And of course, Lori makes everything look easy. Everything. Except what I'm showing you on the camera. It makes me <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I know nobody ever thinks I'm nervous. <laughs> Not you. I know. <laughs> I'm starting to wake up, so. Oh, good. So go ahead and talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you can talk oh. while I finish this row. <laughs> so Lori's going to finish the row, and I am waking up. <laughs> it's been so fun around here, and... Oh, we've just had so much, so much fun. Just, it's been really neat because my, um, you know, the family here that doesn't sleep well has been sleeping well in the good mountain air. I've been sleeping well in the good mountain air. And my mom sleeps well anytime. So. so, but she's been sleeping well too. So that's good. And, um, you know, it's just fun to get away and to crochet and to learn new stitches. Lori taught me the broomstick lace and um, I didn't I didn't start with the right yarn. I think if I had started, hey, can you do broomstick lace with a super chunky, like a six weight yarn? Or sure. Is it, I wonder if I would like that other. Yeah. That super chunky. We'll do that today. That sounds fun. Um, Gloria says, oh, teach me that's gorgeous. And Carla says, that looks fun. It is. And, um, oh, I know, Gloria, sleep is really important, isn't it? And and here, I sleep so well. Um, I don't know why. I always have. As soon as we get to the mountains, I am sleeping so much better. So um, maybe it's just the simple fact that we're 
on vacation, but you know, it's no different than um, at home for me. So, uh, you know, I set my own time frame at home too, but I really believe that it's just getting out here in the mountains, in the fresh air. It's cold here and I love it. And Lori, Gosh, yes. Lori, here. Yes. Here, tell them how much you're loving the love, cold. Love, 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 love the cold. <laughs> it's like, we oh. are just loving the cold air. Oh my goodness. I'm finally, oh, thanks, Kelly. We are so relaxed here. And this, this is truly my happy place. I told my husband last night, I said, well, I might just stay here till you come get me. He said he's getting in the car right now. <laughs> but I think he's gonna stay too. <laughs> And um, I asked the girls I, um, the other day, I said, well, would it be cheaper to, for you guys to rent a car to go home or to get on the bus? And Lori said, I'm not riding a bus. And I said, well, then rental it is because <laughs> I may just stay here forever. I love it here. Um, I can't wait till we get wait till we get here permanently. Um, so for now, I'm just going to enjoy my little spurts of happiness and and then once we get here, uh, you're going to see one relaxed girl sleeping good, enjoying. Um, I think I spilled my coffee on this side too. I spilled coffee on myself this morning, ladies. It was, uh, well, anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the other thing that we're going to do later on is Tunisian crochet. And I cannot wait to get the Tunisian crochet going. Lori, that's really what I'm kind of excited about. Okay, I'll show them a little bit of that too. Oh, we right, okay. so, well, Let we me, can do that on um, oh, on the on, porch. I think I messed up something again. That's okay, let's show them this okay. and then we can do that on the porch. Do you have, do you have 25 there? I think I might put more on than I did. Than do you I want to count it? And I, as I soon as she's ready, okay. And uh, she's going to okay. show you the next step I of broomstick up, lace. That's okay. Okay, ready, guys? Okay. So I have, I did five on each. So you could either pull five off at a time or just slip them all off because it's not going to hurt it. So I'm just going to slip them all off because it's easier than do it. Well, I'll just show you one way and then show you the other. So you can slip off five. See if you can. Oh, I need new glasses, I tell you. So you slip off five and then you. Stick your little hooky in there. Can you see it? I think so. And take your and do it. Can you see it? You don't know if you see it. I I think we can. Okay. And just do a slip knot, and then do five single crochets in that. And then I'll show you my lap. So yeah, my my hands are starting to shake. One, <laughs> two, three. And that's the stitch that you get. I don't know if you can see it. I turned you upside down. Oh but no. That, but then you can just pull them off. And it's not gonna hurt you. So pull it off. Because they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. And then you take five oh, loops. Ryan. Okay, there you go. Take five loops. Make sure they're all going in the same direction. I got the shakes. And then just give them a little twist like this. Make sure you got five. Count one, two, three, four, five. That one. Turn them this way. Oops. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Shakes. Put your hook in there. I don't really worry about it too much. It just goes in. Do a little slip. Do that. And then do five single crochets. One. Whoops. Oh, you're not supposed to say whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not getting a good angle of that, but she's doing five single crochets in that loop, and that's up. what makes the um, the swirl. Hold on just a sec. <laughs> Look, we've got a friend coming up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know, I'm swinging you around, I'm sorry. We have some pigeons here that are having fun. Lori's having fun doing this broomstick lace. lace. And it really is pretty, I I think the angle, you know, if, probably if I was on your other side, right. it would have been, 
And it really does look really, really pretty in lace and lace weight yarn too. Mm -hmm. This I just used my, you know, my Dollar Tree fine because you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Where's my fifth one? Did I lose it somewhere? Or did I add it into it there? I might add it into there. Did I? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Do you think I could count? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you back on the on the thing. But, you know, it's uh, real easy to pull out. You, you just can't mess. You just don't mess it off. Just don't mess up. It's real easy to do. Kids can do it. It's really me. And you could set it down and walk away and, you know, the phone rings, you could set it down. Well, you don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> when the phone rings, you could just, we got cell phones. Yeah, our cell phones take care of <laughs> a lot of that. Nobody runs for the phone anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, old school, old school. Yeah. Anyhow, and that's how you do it. But, you know, you can stop right here and they're not going anywhere. That's the neat part. And a little scary when you first do it. Not gonna lie. But that's comes to place. It's really pretty. And um, Lori was saying that she she used to teach this in the pioneer days, um, where um, the little town that she's in, <laughs> we're getting a following of pigeons. They think we're gonna feed them. <laughs> because that's what they're used to around here. They're like, People are talking. We're gonna get some food. This is um, US 50. Yeah. Which is about the size of a broomstick. And so, in the pioneer days, um, it's a festival that um, you know they dress in the old-fashioned outfits and they do um, the old crafts. Can you see the pigeons in the background? They're starting to converge on us and they're like cooing and cooing. And um, oh, thank you, PJ. PJ says we both look so beautiful and happy. Oh. <laughs> and um, so she used to do the Pioneer Days, and that's when the school kids would come and, and families, and she would show these techniques of the old ways and um, spinning and weaving. Yeah, and spinning, weaving. She would even do the, the shuttle spinning. Is that what you call it? Drop spindle. Drop spindle. Okay, the drop spindle, and she would teach the kids how to do that and make bracelets, right? That's pretty cool. I they like do that. Bracelets. Yeah, and um, so you know, this is just one technique that she would show from the old days. Um, I'm assuming that this is a pioneer technique. Um, yeah, and so anyway, it's just something to learn. You may not like me. I. You know it's beautiful and it would make gorgeous curtains but I am not gonna do that because <laughs> I want to crochet something fast you know for my curtains um, it's beautiful and it's gorgeous and it would be really neat to make um, maybe a placemat or a mug rug or something like that with it um, it is to me a little bit more time-consuming than just crochet and yet it makes a big square right, that right. one that little bit of time so I think it's a mind thing don't you right. and you could even use a skinnier but it's still it does still take longer than crochet yeah. maybe because we're used to that one hook and we're fast <laughs> we're fast hookers yeah, so. we're, fast hookers. we're in the other like sitting right here and me having the morning shakes especially yeah <laughs> you know yeah it, it's hard to do yeah definitely so um, anyway that was a lot of fun to learn but the one that I was really crazy about and really excited to learn is Tunisian crochet. Um, Tunisian crochet, you know, there's a lot of different techniques out there. And Lori did a swatch with two different techniques on it, which is pretty cool. This is a swatch. And I like both of them. This, this one and this one is what I'm going to show her today. Yeah. How to do in Tunisian crochet. Yeah. And you know what? I like the I was looking at the back the other day and Lori was like, well, that's the back. And I'm like, I know, but it looks so cool. <laughs> and that's with that one long hook that's a crochet hook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you can also do Tunisian crochet with a crochet hook. So you don't have to run out and go get one just to practice this. So just to practice the technique. 
And then if you like the technique, you know, the only problem for me and my hands is that the Tunisian crochet hook is not ergonomic. That's the only issue for me. But I think I could get over that, you know. Right. Or get you um, or learn how to handle, hold get, it. Get you some air clay or something and put on there. On the very end. Wherever you're going to hold it. At, where you're yeah. Gonna, well, no. Because that would kind of defeat the purpose yeah, of having a mind. Tunisian hook. <laughs> I'd have to stand way back here. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> They're like, why do you have a three foot long hook? Well, because I have to have ergonomic back here. <laughs> but um, it's it's pretty neat. Now this was just the, wherever it depends on where I shove the hook in at. Right. And actually, I just shove it in blind. <laughs> you know, I mean, I know a certain spot. Yeah. Most of the time, I shove everything in blind. It goes in there. Yeah. Well, you know, the the older we get, the the more we. Um, our site challenged. <laughs> and here again, as far as size goes, it you know it just depends on the size hook that you get, and they have those in different sizes too. Like I brought two different sizes. The one cool. that I was going to show you were, that was saying, skinnier, and then the yeah. one I was using was fatter. Yeah. And so. And with Tunisian, it does it does tend to curl a little bit, it does. but I think a good border would would take care of that, don't right, you think? Right. Because kind of like knitting. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so um, Wendy says good morning. She has a bad connection. Um, oh, and Gloria says she's got Tunisian hooks. Oh, good, good. And um, you have Tunisian crochet, Gloria. She's got the hooks. She's new crocheter. Remember? Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good. So she's when we talked. Remember, about it, I don't remember nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so when we talked about it before, Gloria went and bought Tunisian hooks so that she could learn the Tunisian crochet. Oh, good. good. When we did it, so. <laughs> We're gonna um, we're gonna do another back porch um, rocking chair Tunisian hook, um, or maybe we'll do it out here on the pic at the picnic. Maybe we will. You never know. You never know. Because we, <laughs> we don't know. Oh look, here comes geese and ducks. Look at them. See this park? They just are. Oh, those gonna... are geese. Where's the ducks? I don't know, but they're here. It's like a goose goose to me. I can't turn. Oh yes, look at them. And oh my oh, gosh, no. they love to be fed. I oh, wish that no. we had some corn and we would start feeding them and they'd be everywhere. <laughs> it's so fun. We just have corny jokes. We yes. don't have any corn. And I can't even Come here. one this morning. Come here. Come here. Come see us. You got any jokes? I don't have a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I only know one joke. Well, tell it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. No! <laughs> That's my only joke. That's the only one I know, and you knew it. No, I didn't, but they're leaving. They didn't care about Come it here. too much. They're like, eh, that one didn't crack me up. Quack me up. It didn't quack me up. That one didn't quack me Come up. Come here, boys. That one's so corny. I know the boys. <laughs> well, um, they told me. <laughs> you know, our stuff brings the boys to the yard, so here they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what happens so there. So we're trying to have a Tunisian crochet. Hopefully, I don't have the shakes. <laughs> oh, Nikki, is that your favorite joke? It's the only one I remember. <laughs> I can. I'm such a dork. I can't remember. <laughs> oh my. Do you want your thing back so you can see some? Oh, I can't really see You it. can't see the comments? No. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> I know we have um, we have quite a few gentlemen that um, come on and, and watch us as well. So we just want to say hello from the Great Smoky Mountains. Oh! Ooh, look at him, look at him. They I've are coming. Yeah, now. we do. We've got some sassy ones coming up. Let me see if I can show you. Don't you talk to them ladies. I see you talk to them girls. Hello, get out of here. You get back home. You talk to them. She's really getting sassy. <laughs> I see you. And then here's them. one. Don't look at me, lady. Don't look at me, lady. Look Hello, at me. boy. Hello, boy. <laughs> Hello. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this park. Um, they just start gathering and... You're in it. Oh. 
okay. I thought you were just showing the grail in there for a minute. I am. <laughs> I am, but they're behind you, so that's what we're going to do. Anyway, so I'm really sorry for the jerkiness and the and the movement all around. The movement. It's got <laughs> oh, what did I do? <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello. Yes. Are we still live? Yes, we are. Okay. There we go. There we go. So let's love more. Hate less. Somebody said I have a broom and something and then it went away, so I don't know what it said. Wendy said that. Oh, okay. Wendy said that she has a broom that she cut the stick off to try this, but she hasn't tried it yet. And PJ says, have a great day. Awesome! Yeah, yeah, just Wendy. Just sharpen the end of it and smooth it out. Do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, Is that way you can put it between your feet and you can do it. That's what I did, you know, or just stick it on the chair and I just, would just loop it around, loop it around a lot faster. Yeah. I was younger, a little bit younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you did it all day, so you got really fast. Right, right. Yeah. Right. And I hadn't done it in years, so when I just showed you. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my nose is running. Uh, yeah, you, you get that once, once you start doing it, you get in that rhythm. Yeah. You know, and, and you do it. it. It gets a lot faster doing it. But because yeah. I used to just sit there and I would just whip it up, you know, and it would, it would get faster. Yeah. What a beautiful day. So we are at 46 minutes. I think it's time for us to because it just seems like it's getting a little more noisy. There's some construction going on over there. So <laughs> they just came out and started sawing away. Not sure what they're doing, but anyway. So it's getting a little busier out. We've got some runners and some walkers around the trail. And obviously the birds are flying in for their food. Um, mom and my Aunt Dottie, Lori's mom, our moms, are back at the cabin and they were making, um, they were frying sausage up in the pan when we left. And um, so anyway, is there anything else you want to share before we get going? I think that was all my bag of tricks. Okay. <laughs> and I have just been making little pods of things. Like I, I got some yarn and I, I thought, well, it's a chunky six and it's kind of a, you know, a different color yarn. It's not necessarily something we want to wear. So I tried making a rug. And so that's halfway, not even halfway, but it's like started. So I might end up pulling that out again. I think that would make a great, broomstick lace placement. Huh. I think I might use that mine for that too. Yeah. I, I, I thought that was a gorgeous yarn. We got that at Michael's. Those yeah. Those big, big balls we got. Yeah. Cakes or whatever they were. Yeah. And it was pretty. It was that copper one. Copper yeah. It's copper one. and then it has like little flecks of something. something. Yeah. <laughs> and we really liked it in the store and I still do like it. But then when you work it up, it's like wearing a rug or a blanket or. Funky. It's really funky. That's the it's a funky. It's a funky. I tried it. It's like, oh, that's too funky. <laughs> I tried to work it on a couple of things. I was like, it's funky. Funky. That's the word of the day. Funky. It could be a placemat. <laughs> I think it would be really nice as a placemat. Yeah. I really do. And a mug rug. Um, yeah. But it's funky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cover your head. Here comes a bird. <laughs> That would be um, crappy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to say that on the uh, Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Are you feeling a little better? Yeah, yeah. My BC. <laughs> good, good. Her BC powder kicked in. I kind of have a little bit of a headache here. And I was slow going this morning. They keep me up past my bedtime, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she says, but... I'm not so sure about that. They keep me up late. Because <laughs> I begged her, stay up a little longer. She's like, no. That was long. <laughs> it's 9 o'clock. I have to go to bed. <laughs> it was 11 o'clock, I think. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think there's some storytelling going on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All I know is that um, at, at 11 o'clock, her mom tells me, Barbara, put a movie on so I can go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I put Sleepless in Seattle on. It was the third time we had run it, and she sleeps really well through that. <laughs> they, get, they get really quiet, so I go to bed, and all of a sudden they get up. And they start giggling, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the music's going, and so anyway, we, we just uh, have been just having a good time, so anyway. We're gonna wrap this one up, and I'm gonna to remember to bring my regular stand and my my microphone next time. I hope that you guys could hear us okay. And um, but we're probably gonna we might even go live again later on with our moms. So I don't know. I might make Lori eat on camera. <laughs> That's her favorite thing to do. <laughs> no, it's not. That is like not my thing. <laughs> Do you want to have lunch with us? I don't know. Or he's like, no, you do not. <laughs> My husband's like, really? People watch that? <laughs> yes, people watch. It's sitting down with, at breakfast with us. So anyway, my mom said that we can go to breakfast. Did you know that? No. Yes. Well, said, here we go. She said, you girls go to breakfast. I thought so. Oh. No, she just fried up some sausage. Dinner. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just munch on that throughout the day. Right? Okay, guys. So we'll see you later. Maybe we'll catch you live again today. but And maybe tomorrow. Um, Wednesday, we'll be traveling back. So we're going to try and do a live Wednesday. But maybe from the car. Or from the side of the road somewhere. Hopefully. Uh, a good reason to be on the side of the road. Maybe goats on the roof will be open. Oh, yeah. I hope the inside of that ball, I can get that uploaded. So you can put that on there. That was so fun. It was fun. It was fun. Have a wonderful day, guys. It was good to see you too, Trudy. Make one of these. They're fun. Yeah, those are fun, and they want a tutorial, so we'll do that. Anyway, guys, um, I'd like a proper tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. Um, have a great day. Stay safe. Be kind, and get hooked. And enjoy it while you're doing it. <laughs> enjoy it while you're doing it and laugh and you know what if it takes you a little bit to wake up that's okay and it's, it's just yarn and it's yours if you wake <laughs> up if you wake up on cloud nine and just like go in a million miles a minute that's okay too it is. <laughs> <laughs> because we're all unique and we're all special oh, and we oh, all have our own like this. <laughs> five o'clock and we're y'all up yet <laughs> what are you doing sleeping <laughs> Well, we stayed up till 12.30 because we're night owls and you're not. <laughs> it's like 5 o'clock in the morning, they hear the clock is <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could smell it because, you know, I love coffee. So, anyway. Okay, guys, bye. Have a great day. And I'm going to try to find this button again. <laughs> oh, you yes. It's an X. <laughs>